Welcome to another Excel video. This is a fundamental skills video really. We're not going to be getting into some really detailed work around dynamic charts or anything like that. Just going to go through some really good Excel text functions that are really useful for lots of purposes when you're dealing with names of athletes and, and so on. So all the way through we're going to be using the text that you can see in cell B3. It currently says workshop contact John Hall with a phone number. And all the way down column A, you'll see a bunch of functions that we're going to work our way through. So I'm just going to click in cell 4 to get started. Left is the first one we're going to look at. Left takes however many characters you specify from the left hand side of the text string. So if I type the word left, I click on the text that we want to be capturing from and I simply type a number of characters, let's say four. What it's done is taken the first four characters starting at the left of the text string. What I'm going to do is instead of typing the word four, I'm just going to click on a cell here. At the moment I've already typed 12 in that cell. As you can see, Pretty simple really, it allows you to take out as many or as few cells, uh, characters from the left as you like. Similarly right does the same thing except it takes the characters from the right. What we'll find is that I have strategically placed a whole bunch of spaces at the end of the text here. That will become apparent further down when we look at some of these functions called trim and proper and so on. But right takes the cells from the right hand end of a text string. Mid is a little bit more complicated it finds something from the middle of the text string. So it asks us for three variables this time. Where's the text? Where do you want us to start taking our sample from? I'm just going to type in, say, five. How many characters do you want to return? Ten. So on its own doesn't look that useful but when we combine it with a couple of functions a little bit later on you'll be able to see how we can pull out cells in the middle based upon where the first space is or where a dash is or something like that. Ampersand, I use this all the time when I'm making uh, spreadsheets for people. It simply combines whatever is in multiple cells. So if I click on that and I click on that for example, it simply combines those two together. I could have put a space in between those two by using space which is notated by a space between two double quotes and now it looks a little bit tidier. I could have put some stars in between there just to separate it out and so on. So ampersand very very useful you can do multiple cells together if you wanted to. There you go. Search. This is one that you can start to combine with left, right and mid very effectively. What search does um, is finds the location of a certain character and it's not case sensitive. So if I'm trying to find an H in the text equals search. What do we want to find? We want to find that. Where do we want to find it? In this cell. So what it's going to do is it's telling us it's the sixth character. So the H in workshop is the sixth character. If I simply wanted to 
avoid using a reference cell here like I have, which is this cell, I would want to make sure I enclosed what I was searching for in double quotes. What's different between search and find is that search is not case sensitive. It's just going to go through and find the first cell that matches our criteria, which was an H. So it doesn't matter if I do a capital or a lower H in the search function, it just finds the first H. Whereas down here, if I use find, it does matter what case the text is. As you can see, it goes straight past the lowercase h in workshop down until the h in hall. So that finds the 24th character. Search and find, one's case sensitive, one is not. Len. Len counts the total number of characters in the string. Tells us that there are 46 characters in there. Len is an abbreviation for length. What I've found uh, a really good application of the function clean, it's very simple, one variable in there, you want to clean whatever is in cell B3. At the moment it doesn't change anything. That's because I guess there's nothing to clean. But if you have taken some uh, data off a website and pasted it directly into Excel, sometimes what you can find is that some HTML tags and, and little bits of junk come with it that you don't actually notice. And it can definitely mess up formulas if you're trying to find something or do a lookup or something like that. Use a match function, for example. It might not find what you want it to do because there is some extra text that is invisible to, uh, to you that is messing it up. So you can simply use the function clean and it'll take all that extra stuff away. Trim. When you are importing data from an, ex an access database or if you've got people entering data for you, it's not uncommon for them to put an extra space at the end of a word. And if you do that, sometimes it might not work if you're doing countifs or index functions and so on. So trim is a way to get rid of extra spaces at the beginning, in the middle, or at the end of a text string. Now I mentioned earlier that I put a whole bunch of spaces at the end of the text string in B3. What Trim has done is cleaned that and taken it all away. So if you look at the answer that we got from the formula in cell C18, and the answer that we got in C20, they pull the same text out. But over in column D here, I've done a function that we just learned, which is len, calculates the length of the text string. And you can see that the text in C18 is 46 characters, and the text in C20 is 41. What Trim has done is it's cleaned off all the spaces that were at the end of the text. So what I'm going to do is just go up here and I'm going to take a couple of these spaces away and you can see the clean has gone down to 43 so those spaces definitely have an impact if you're trying to use various functions really simple ones now upper and lower really just converts it to uppercase or lowercase upper obviously takes it to upper Lower takes it to lower, and proper converts it to uh, capitalization of the first letter of a word, and then lowercase after that. So, a quick summary of a few text functions. Now, uh, a couple of examples of, of how I can take advantage of these functions and combine them. The first one, uh, um, first example, uses a combination of a bunch of them. 
uh, I am trying to, this is something I have to do more often than you think, data has come in and it is first name then surname and I want to flip it around the other way using a function. So I've got two names here, a couple of great English singers and I have used a combination of functions to reverse those two words around. So what I'm going to do is just do it across to the right here and explain how it works. What I want to do first of all is I want to take the surname Mercury and put that first. So I'm going to go right. How many characters do I want? Well, I want to go from the space onwards. So I'm going to find out first how many characters there are in the entire string. And then I'm going to subtract the number of characters there are up until and including the space by using search. I want to find the space within that word. Now if I close brackets on that and hit enter, it should pull up for me Mercury. So that worked. What it's trying to do in that function is take from the right the, the total number of characters minus where the space is. So uh, pulls out Mercury and we're already making good progress. If I just go into another cell to the right here and see if I can pull out the first name. Using this text how many characters do I want to pull out? Well, I just want to find where the space is. And that should pull it out for me. There we go. So if I scoop that all up, I use an ampersand I put a space in between it and hit enter there we go I can just copy that down so if I've got hundreds of rows I've just saved uh, myself or uh, an intern or an admin person um, a lot of time just by switching it around using those left right search and lean functions uh, another thing, for example, you might want to convert it to initials such as F Mercury or FM. The same concept applies. It's really just saying, what do I want to take out? I want to take out the first character of the first word. The second character being the first letter of the second word is a little bit more tricky, but it's still the same concept. This time I'm going to use mid. I want to find where the space is, and that can be my start number. And how many characters do I want to pull out? One. Let's see what happens there. We did something wrong. What we did is we are taking the space rather than taking the letter after the space. So I want to just go plus one. That's better. Okay, so a little bit of tinkering sometimes can solve these problems for you. Just like before, I'm just going to put that with an ampersand and I can cut that out now so there we go a few text functions none of them earth-shattering none of them really involving a lot of brain power 